Hello everybody, I Stocky here and welcome to another episode of my Let's Play of the Technicality 3 pack. Uh, since the last episode, I have done a little bit of uh, gathering, I guess you'd say. Um, I'm now up to 5 cacti over here. So, slowly getting there over with the cactus farm. Um, I have cooked up some glass, gathered a whole lot of sand, and I'm cooking up a lot of bricks because the next thing I would like to do is go for kind of a block on uh, I'll call it an item. Um, yeah, the next thing I would like to do is get started with some machines. Um, you can see I got really lucky and my shovel updated itself and I became accustomed to it. Um, so that got me an emerald modifier from collecting all that sand and stuff that I was collecting which is awesome and you can see my pickaxe I actually got a little carried away while I was mining um, since the last time you saw it I've become skill level expert so I've only got one more level to do um, I got auto repair and another haste so I'm now haste to auto repair so this is an awesome pick um, I, ooh, a little bit more sugar cane I've come over here and I cooked up, as you can see, some more blocks of iron, some blocks of copper and some blocks of tin. Um, so I'm pretty much ready to go with the next phase of the plan, which is machines. So we will come down here because I've marked on my map a deposit of redstone and a deposit of gold. So we'll go get those right now. Slime, where's slime? Can hear slime. Upstairs, maybe? Up here? In here. Drupal that I got left, 36. Sounds like it's definitely just there. Um, there he is. This is absolutely brilliant because... Um, come on. Let's make it so he can't fall off this edge. Come on, come get me. Perfect. Ow. He gets really hard. Yeah, this is absolutely perfect because um, the build craft equivalent of the pulverizer, crusher, grinder, smusher, whatever you want to call the device that makes dusts from ores, uh, requires a slime ball. I now also know that this is a slime chunk. So one of the overlays you can do... Um, is a slime overlay. So it says the chunk directly in front of me here that I'm in now is a slime chunk. So that is going to come in really handy uh, for later. For now though, I already have plenty of slime so I'm good. So we're going to come down this way You guys already saw this gold I walked past previously. I love how fast this thing is. Uh, uh, yeah, that's going to be it's going to be problematic. Um, Things are going to spawn there. I don't like leaving things where mobs can spawn, so... 
If we press F7 now, you can see mobs can spawn there, and that's the only place they can spawn. So we need two more. There we go. Mobs can't spawn there. Oh, a couple places they can spawn, but really, bah, whatever. <coughs> Ooh, so now I can... Oops. Delete. Don't need that. Couple more pieces of tin. Here is my redstone. Ooh, ferrous. I'm not going to lie to you, I was hoping for a lot more redstone than that. And I haven't brought any wood with me. <clears throat> How's that looking? Things can spawn there. Um... That's really not bad, and I've kept an extra torch. Oh, well, whatever. How much redstone did I get? 24. Um, obviously, 24 redstone is not ideal. Um, but it is certainly better than nothing. Um, <clears throat> and for those of you who haven't been watching my channel for a while, uh, torches to the left. If you follow the torch to the left system, um, then you know torches to the right means you're coming home. And if you're ever not sure which way out is, two torches stacked one above the other indicates the way out. The torch is on the floor, so it doesn't count, so still torch on the right, torch on the right and the right. Now I'm looking for the next torch on the right. See these are on the floor, torch on the right. It's a, it's a really simplistic system, um, but it just works. So, you know, not everyone um, has a system, and I find it frustrating when people don't have systems. I mean, let's be honest. So here we go, back up the top, and we now have some redstone, so we can start to make some things and stuff. F7 off. Throw our gold in there. Now we want to make a grinder duster. A basic duster. That is the thing that we need. So we need two stone gears, a piece of iron, and some smooth stone. Well, thankfully, I already have the ability to make all of those things. This is a very non-sophisticated machine. It's designed to be a very non-sophisticated machine because it is the first one. And what I might do... Where did I put items? Tools and things, there we go. Take my Eureka guidebook. So the first thing we need is a basic duster. You can use this machine to double your oars. You're not nostalgic, but sometimes it gets to everyone. Good old days when you have all the oil you ever wanted. Blah, blah, blah. Lots of things. Complex tools requires large amounts of ore. Wish, you wish somehow you could increase it. You make a dust assembled machine with stone and slime balls and grindy bits on the top. Place your ore on top and you jump on it. And your ore pops. Oh, really? Rain? But I cooked up a stack of smooth stone uh, to make up for this type of requirement. So we now have sticks. Ooh, I just re received my very first build craft achievement. A bit rough around the edges. And now I got my next one, hard as a rock. So achievements, build craft. So my next one 
craft a redstone engine, create an automatic workbench. So, got a good sort of tiered system to go through here. So, I need a redstone engine and auto crafting. Sorry, an auto workbench. Four gears around a workbench. Let's do that while we're here. I'm going to use gears anyway, so. Workbench. Joop. And autom automagically, we now have the next achievement. Nice. But, not what we needed. What we needed was two stone gears, piece of iron, slime ball, five smooth stone, and we have ourselves a basic duster. And this is called basic for a reason. Oh, night time. Because this is very basic. Um, its inventory is disabled from other uh, pipes and other automation type systems. So it is super, super basic. Look at that gold. So what I'll do is I'll grab myself... Um, just grab a piece of iron ore. In fact, let's see what Eureka says. In order to get the next one, the basic research is the basic duster, and it's semi-automatic. I need to have dusted 20 ores. So let's just grab 20 iron and we will dust those block of gold <clears throat> do, 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 do. that's going to come in handy later because I am going to build um, probably a sag mill I think because using gravel you can actually boost the output of a sag mill. So I think I'll build a sag mill next <clears throat> because I want a, a way of producing lots of gravel and sand basically. Ah yes, so click the ore on there, come over here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then boom! 2 iron dust and we can see now progress 1 Oop, again, pops out a long way. Progress 2. And now this is a fairly simple thing to make, and it doesn't require any research, it only requires a slime ball. Um, so I could have actually got this quite a while ago, and it would have been a fairly useful machine to have. Um, I haven't, I didn't, meh, whatever. I will get back to that later, but what I do want to do right now is start down the process of making these tools and things. So I'm going to need that. I'm going to need more cobblestone. I'm going to need more wood. I'm going to make two pistons. I'm going to start down the process of making engines. So the first engine that I want to make is a redstone engine, so we're going to need two glass blocks. <clears throat> Piston, glass, wood, wood, wood. How do we make a... Ah, that's what I, that's what I did wrong. It's not actually wood you need. It's always gears in Billcraft. I knew I made them for a reason. There we go, redstone engine, achievement get, the start of something big. Now, going to need much more geariness. And we need to turn said gears stony. 
I'm going to make ourselves the very first of our engines, the Sterling engine. So I now have... I wonder what the achievement says now. Uh, achievements, build craft. So I've got that, got that. Next, upgrade a stone gear to an iron gear. Build craft wrench. What I want to make is a mining well. It's the very first build craft machine you probably need. We need an iron gear, iron pick, and a bunch of iron. Um, <clears throat> this is part of the reason why I cooked up a bunch of iron. Let's take these out. Oh, I didn't have enough coal in you. Uh, poop stick. Bad. Time to get these things sorted. Wood. Not wood. Food. Get out of there. Uh, bricks you can count as items. I'll totally get to that coke oven later. Oh yeah, but that's the reason I made these bricks. Um, so you can use them to make the coke brick. Um, it's a 3x3x3, three by three by three, so it's got two layers of uh, 9, which is 18, and then one layer of 8. So it's 26 bricks in total that I need. Um, but for now, anyway... Pretty sure I can just keep doing this and basically pop them off as fast as they cook. So I need an iron gear, which means I need four cobblestone. Then I'm going to need four iron. <clears throat> Obviously, I have a blocks of iron over there that I could do this with. But again, I'm trying to keep this build crafty because I mean the, the main focus of this pack is meant to be build crafty stuff. I go block of iron already. One I prepared earlier. So the next thing I'm going to need is to make that into a pick. So Minecraft, why did, don't I get an achievement for that? Oh, huh, no. Next thing I do is find diamonds. Harvest some leather. Catch and cook a fish. Yeah, okay. I'll get there eventually. We want that and that and that and that and that. Now have ourselves a mining well. Just earn the achievement straight down. I didn't even see that as an achievement. Ah, oh, iron gear gives me straight down. So next is gold gear. And gold gear gives me faster filling. Diamond gear would then give me chunk destroyer. Ah, uh, see, I see where this is going now. I like where this is going now. But we are going to need all of these things that we've made. Plus a few a few more things. So the first I'm going to need is a chest. Then I'm going to need so we're going to need some pipes, and we're going to need some pipes of the wooden variety. And we are ready to go start carving up the world now. Um, let's go over this way a bit. This, to me, looks just perfect. So we'll place the miner. Now I'm not sure if I actually need... Um, I'll find out in a second anyway. I'm not sure if I actually need the other kind of pipes.
We'll find out soon though. Just in case we do. Need to place something flammable in there. Let's not get too sophisticated about this whole thing. Oh, there it goes, it's pushing it straight out. It's going to take a little while for this machine to heat up. And it is going to pack that chest. Basically, um, there's a couple of different ways you can use these mining wells. Um, <clears throat> for those of you who like to manually mine, uh, which I typically am, I tend to do I tend to do just the minimum amount of mining. just to kind of allow me to get what I want um, until I get uh, things like quarries or other mining devices that are just like you know, super fast miners and right up until that point of getting the super fast miners I tend to just mine by hand um, what this allows you to do is basically just drop a shaft to bedrock and then if you make a bunch of ladders you can place the ladders down go right down and check it out. But I can come back, you know, in quite a period of time and have a look in here and go, ooh, I found a diamond. That means I drop down this shaft and there's bound to be more of them. Or if I don't, you know, I just move the mining well a bit, try again. So this is a pretty neat thing to get going with right up until the point where you get, you know, the ability to mine better, so to speak. So come over here. Time for a sleep. So yeah, this is pretty much the wrapping up point for the episode here. Um, what I'm going to do off camera is get enough research on this. Get enough research on that so that I may be able to um, build the next one, which is the semi-automatic variant. And hopefully by the same time that happens, this will have hit the ground. Oh, got some lead there. So I mean, I'm currently 67 blocks above ground, so once this has 67 blocks in it, we're good to go. So we're already more than halfway there. So it seems to me now like we've hit some air, like an air gap. So what's that? 38, 40. There we go. Gone through the air gap, so there was a cave down there. Hit a little bit more. So yeah, off camera, I'll let this run for a little while, see what happens, and I'll probably drop another mine shaft um, somewhere a little bit away from it. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, now that I have what I need, yeah, it's going to be fun. So next episode I'm going to make the semi-automatic duster and I will also next episode, if everything goes really well for me, uh, get started with Batania with getting up um, a basic pure daisy and some day blooms to start the process of generating mana for me. So thanks so much for watching. Until next time, A-Stocky out.